This day will never be forgotten. The 6th of March, 1957, when the Goko successfully got their independence officially. Ghana. Ghana is the name. Ghana we wish to proclaim. We will be jolly, merry, and gay. The 6th of March in the Today, as we this sacred day on our calendar, it is worth noting that the great majority of our population was born after the 6th of March 1957. They identified that they only through all black and white newsreels, euphoria and magic of that day. Indeed, on that day of 6 March 1957, the celebrations were not limited to the new country Ghana or to the Ghanaians alone. The rest of the world joined to celebrate with us. We had the trailblazers for the independence movement on the continent. Those whose vision inspired the independence movement. We pay homage today, as we should, to those who dare to dream of this kaleidoscope nation made up, made up of different peoples and we give praise as we should to those who make great sacrifices to make possible March 6, 1957. We refer to the members of the Aborigines Right Protection Society who protected our lands from the grabs of the greedy imperialists the members of the United Go Coast Convention, whose first sounded the clarion call for freedom. The members of the Convention People's Party, who brought the battle for freedom to a successful conclusion. And all those who took the fight to the colonialists. We recall with pride and salute the memories of Yas Santiwa. Jacob C., John Mensah Saba, Joseph Kassile Hefo, George Moore, R.S. Wood, Thomas Hilton Mills, Kwabina Sechi, James Quadre Agri, Ni Kwabina Koli Dite, Ephraim Amu, George Alfred Grant, Joseph Kwachi Donko, Francis Awimo Williams, R.S. Blake, J.W. DeGram Johnson, Emmanuel Obi Chebi Lamte, Edward Akufo Ado, William Ofori Atta, Ebenezer Ako Ajay, Kwame Nkrumah, Kwabina Kesi, VP Anan, Jimmy Chris Tyson, Kamala Akbali Bedema, Kojo Bochio, Kofi Bakun, Krobo Eduse, Nancy Chibwe, Mumuni Baumia, SD Dombo, Kofi Abrifa Uzia, Joe Apia, Victor Ousu, R.R. Abonsa, Bafon Ose Akoto, Modesto Apalu, S.G. Anto, Ekuya Shoshosho, Dede Ashikansha, and many others. Since we gained our independence, we have had difficulties and stumbled in the set to reach our potential. But Ghana has never lost her position as an inspirational leading light 
on the African continent. At 63, we know that we have squandered many opportunities that, if properly utilized, would have brought us to the economic breakthrough to which we aspire. We lament, and rightly so, the infrastructure deficit that plague all sectors of our lives and the considerable number of our people who still live in poverty. But if truth be told, we have solid reason to rejoice and be thankful to the Almighty, for this is a blessed nation. It is a good thing that we are usually so very hard on ourselves, and the critical voices sometimes drown out everything else. For as long as we have not achieved our economic goals, 